In this video, I'm going to show you how to put together the reindeer spinner card. So here are all the pieces. I have them kind of in a little embellishment bowl so I don't lose the small pieces because we're going to piece together the reindeer pieces and the card. So this is mostly the card pieces and about a five inch. Um, you can use a twine or a thread um, or thinner twine uh, for the spinner portion. And I'll show you what that looks like right now. So here's a completed card. And if you've never seen a spinner card before, what's kind of cool about it, first of all, you can see like that. So usually you just prime the spinning. So you just spin it around however times and then put it in the envelope. And this is an A2 size. And so when they open it, so when the person takes it either out of the envelope, I mean, it could happen when they take the envelope, but typically when they open it, it spins. So you can see there's a little back part to it and a front part to this little reindeer that I had fun uh, designing. So, so we'll go ahead and get started. To get started, I'm going to put down out all the reindeer pieces. So I know that some are not so easy to see a little bit, but um, you should be able to see them all. So there's a front and a back to this. So we have the, the front, and you can see that it's one's one way and one will fit the other way. So this is the front, and that's flipped over. So the textured size, that's the back. So the first thing I would um, tell you to do is to separate the front and back so you know which ones you got to piece together. Um, I'm going to put this little joy to the world in this little embellishment bowl over here to the side. So the, the front has a the face so obviously this is the front and then we have a the you can tell which one is they look similar but they're like opposite. So here we would I'm just going to layer it on so you can see We'll get the black piece. Okay, so here's the black. So it's the background. This one with the head is the front. So you want to put that there. So this is how it's going to layer. Like that. Then we want the this piece and this piece. And I'm going to ink around the edges. Uh, you can go chalk around the edges to uh, help give it a little bit more dimension. So there's that piece. You see it's getting kind of chunky. So this this is a bit of a piece. If you, um, I'm using textured American car, Crafts uh, textured cardstock, but it does get a little thick, just so you know. And then this piece for the front. This is the mouthpiece, and there's a little cut. You can't really see it, but there's a little cut. We can just use a pen to add the mouth. So I'm just going to do that right now so we can see it. You could lightly ink it or chalk it. So I made a mistake with the uh, mouth a little bit. Uh, went a little crazy so um, I just went and got some chalk ink. So you could just go ahead and I'll, I'll finish it and fix it a little bit uh, later. But for now, for our purposes of putting it together, we'll just leave it like that. So that'll be the mouthpiece that goes here. And then the nose will go here. Oops, I forgot to put the ears underneath. So this is really important that you understand how this goes together. So that's why I dry fit it first. And then I'll put them in the order of the way I want to put it together. So you can see there's a lot that so this is the that's the front and this will be the the back as you can see it fits like that I did forget the collar on the front but and this um, just to make sure you put I already put the little gold circles on it so I've already put that together but this goes once you get the head on it matches up You'll see like there's shapes over here. When we do it, you'll be able to see it. It'll be zoomed in. So that'll go right there. 
So this is a this is a, a number of piecing items, but to get the look I wanted, that's the way I need to do it. But you can always print and cut it too. I mean, if you don't want to do all this, and that's how the back basically goes with the back. So, so that's it's kind of layered in order. I know it's a little bit messy, but this is what it looks like when it's finished. So I'm going to piece it together. Um, you can watch me. I'm just going to have a little music on while we'll do it so you can uh, see the steps. So, uh, But I'm not going to unlayer them. I'm going to unlayer them in order here once I get them in. So I'll just put that last. So as long as you have a method of doing it, so it doesn't matter if the nose can be last. The face. So I'm putting them in order. So like that. These two. This. And these are the three that need to go on first. So we'll do the same thing for the back of it. But we'll zoom in a little bit so you can see me putting it together. So not to confuse you, but I did uh, switch out the... Uh, I actually lightly chalk this, so you can see I'm just going to put that aside because I made a little bit of a mistake. So you can go ahead and watch me piece this together, and then I'll be back after both sides are pieced. So it's just going to show you the order of how things go.
So now we have the front and back done. So you can see when we put it on, we're going to put the twine in between and glue these together so when it flips, you see the back when it flips. So we'll go ahead and get the this, this piece. Now what I found, um, I put this together before. Um, if you've never done spinner cards, we're actually going to glue it to the, the back of this and this will be glued to the actual um, card so we won't see the this is where the twine will be connected and so we can always go ahead and add this first so we don't have to do it later so we're just going to add this little frame and it would be cute if you used either pattern paper for that green part or um, embossing but I decided I wanted kind of a simpler look for this particular card I hate when I don't get it on exactly right especially when it's a really thin frame so you just want to make sure get it placed in the right place so that was the front so um, I just want to make sure and then now we can differentiate front from the back get a little bit more pressure on it so the next step is to attach it so this is how it's going to go it's going to attach to the bottom and top and then we're going to add a little glue thing on it. Since this is the front, we'll start with this one. We'll center it and then we'll attach it to this. So I'm going to use score tape just because it's easier and what glue doesn't work as well. I'm going to use a combination of score tape and glue. Let me close my little glue thing so it doesn't dry up on me, get stuck. So this is a uh, wing, uh, it's like score tape. So it's pretty strong. I just got to find the end here. I think I would have done this before, but I was using this. The other thing I like about this is that you can just tear it. I don't have to have a pair of scissors. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a couple pieces off here. And bear with me because I don't have a whole lot of nails. So when I do this, it's hard to get this top piece off. So when you, since it's double sided, we're just going to carefully tear it off and hopefully it'll take the, I can get something sharp to do it too, but my luck I'd probably poke myself. I am a bit of a, a klutz, so sorry that was out of focus for a minute, I didn't notice that. And then we're just going to overlap. So I'm going in the middle on the top and bottom. So you don't have to be really exact. Just get it across. So eyeball it. And I'm not I'm going to take this one up before I put the second one down. So I'm just overlapping it so I have a little bit more sticky down there. And then we'll do the same. We'll put a little strip on the back of... I'm actually going to put two strips. So if you had thicker score tape, you could do it with that. But if you were exact, you could put it right down the middle. But I'm just going to go a little bit to the left of middle and then the right. I just want enough to hold it on. And I'm sure it's overkill, but this is heavy because I used uh, textured cardstock. So it does get kind of chunky. So now I just eyeball it. We don't want to, I didn't want to do a whole bunch of cut marks or anything. So the nice part about this uh, card base is that you could put any character in it. So if you had a, a character that you could just reverse um, with faces on both sides, you could do that with any image that you purchased, uh, like a character image or um, I have another card, a presence spinner card that as long as it's um, just flipped you can do it so you can see I'm just kind of pulling it down here so, so it's a little high so let's go here right here so, so take your time on this if you're gonna do it I know it doesn't seem I'm trying to get right in the middle of those two little antler things 
and make it tight enough so it will hold it. So I can always take it off, that's, that's the whole thing, and make it a little tighter. So that's looking pretty good. Doesn't have to be perfect, it just needs to spin. I'm just going to do a little bit straighter here. I know I'm looking at, I'm doing, I'm being too perfectionist, perfectionist, so let's just go across that. Again, we're going to put more glue on this when we attach the other ones. I'm just moving that frame too much. I hope I'm not making it look harder than it is. It really isn't that difficult. It's just this tape is so sticky. So once I have it where I want it, I'll just go ahead and trim the ends. So that one I already started. I don't have to trim it. But this one I want to trim a little bit. It's all trimmed so we don't want it hanging down below that frame. And you can see that it's already turning on its own. So this is where it's just, it's just being really careful when you glue it together. So we're going to just put, let's see, we're going to glue together these pieces here. I'm just dotting around because where you're going to have difficulty with is the um, right, right around the hands, especially if you have thick cardstock like I do. So once I have the all that there, I'm going to start with the antlers. And like I said, just be careful getting your hands on the, um, the score tape. Once I line those up in the ears, everything should line up a little bit, just lickety split. So the thickness of the twine kind of pulls it apart. So that's where, so let me make sure it's lined up on the front. So you can see it's a little bit lined up, not lined up on the front here. So I'm just kind of adjusting it real quick. And once you get it in the right place, you can apply pressure to all the places. So I'm going to do the legs and the ears and then the antlers you can kind of push down. And if I need to, I'll just go in and uh, add a little bits of glue with my fine tip applicator, just kind of reach in. But this is the part you kind of want to make sure it's together. So I'm just going to look for gaps. So I have a little bit of a gap there, but this is just because of the thickness of the paper, but just to make sure, I'm going to add a little glue on that side, just reach in and add a little glue in there. That kind of came out a little bit. Then I'm just going to push down. And it probably wasn't that critical. It really is just the look and fun of a card. I just thought it's a fun idea, so could I do it with a uh, cutting machine? Of course, of course we could. So that was all the hard, hard part of it. The rest of it's pretty simple. Because now we basically put together the entire card. So we're going to take the card, unfold it so you don't get glue on the inside. But we're just going to glue this on. So once we have this done, we go ahead and we're going to line this up, now that we have glue on it. Line it up with that middle edge, the opening. You see I already put this little red um, line on it before I attached it. And then we're just going to go ahead and after we get this on, we're going to attach this Joy to the World tag, which you you, can talk, uh, you could put whatever word you want to put on that. Um, I just happened to select that, but it's a blank tag included with the file. And you could line it up if you want. So I'm going to try to line it up. It's the same curve as the top, like basically. And then you can add, add additional embellishments if you like. We'll add some of these little sprinkle gold things to them. These are Doodlebug Designs 
I bought a bunch of them at a show and um, no online actually they were uh, they're just cute it's a cute quick way to do like uh, little embellishments to add little embellishments so I'm taking the small ones small pieces just put in three on each side and you could use whatever you have obviously there's rhinestones that are easily accessible um, stuff like that so after we added the uh, the little uh, it's like enamel dots it's all ready to go so this is the finished card you can go ahead and write a sentiment like up here if you don't want to write it in the space but you know if you you don't want to put a background on, on it obviously but it's easy enough there's enough space to say uh, up here behind it so just to get it ready and there it is a it fits in an A2 envelope so we do have free ones on our website even Christmas ones so I'm just twisting it a bunch of times so when they open up the card once you, you want to slide it in after you kind of turn it they open up the card it goes like that and just makes it a fun card so I hope some enjoy it the more whimsical out there um, I know it was a fun card for me to make and I haven't made any spinner cards yet so I just thought why not this is my opportunity sometimes when it comes to Christmas I'll try that's when I'll try new cards and share them with you so I hope you enjoyed this project and thank you so much for watching